seventh season. We've already done 120 episodes, guys. This is 121. This is number 121. It's, and uh, here we are, six seasons later. We are on season seven. Yeah, we can't even celebrate because uh, we're quarantined. We hope you um, guys are staying safe. You guys are watching. There's a new okay. the li- watching and listening to Nerd's New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. With me today, as always, is Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? And Still my other my phone. <laughs> and my other good buddy, Monster Seventy Four. The one twenty. We were on episode one twenty one, and we're going to be talking about uh, Castlevania, the uh, the series on Netflix, which uh, just came out with a third season, right? Uh, yes. yes. We're more or less going to be talking about uh, the the third season, maybe a little bit more of uh, uh, before that of uh, of Castlevania. But before we get into that, I want to talk about some news. I mean, there's not really much that I can say going on. I had some plans for uh, the Ghostbusters movie that supposed to was supposed to come out in fucking Ju- July. Now it's what moved till September. 2021. Uh, Monsters actually been doing a lot of editing for us. He's doing a good job. Let's go ahead and get into uh, get into the actual. Meat and potatoes of the podcast, which of course is Castlevania. Um, yes. Who wants to start? Give a brief uh, summary. Yeah. Of it. So the the bishop th- kills Dracula's wife at the stake, burns her at the stake. Of course, you know. Then Dracula declares war on humanity. Wallachia, which is the same Wallachia. Sorry, part of my French. And <laughs> someone's knight afraid to buy forgers to attack all humans and kill them. So. In other words, when they kill humans too, the forgers turn the those hu- dead humans into more night monsters. So, a character by the name of Trevor Belmont, which is the last of his clan, which are revered monster hunters, but somehow they get out of the good graces of people. I forget, and then helps fight off the monsters. So that that's the pretty much the first season, and yeah. there's a lot of blood and gore, and it's all fun. And then the second season's fucking amazing. So, in the second season, Trevor, a character by the name of Sifa, or Sifa, I forget how to say it. And then Alucard. Yeah, but Sifa is also a... They, they're called she's a seer or some shit like that. Seer. She's, a, she's a gypsy seer. And then Alucard, which happens to be Dracula's son, they team up together to fight Dracula and uh, his hordes of uh, night monsters. Also, there's also his vampire lieutenants there, or generals that they fight, end yeah. up fighting, defeating a couple. They ended up defeating Dracula, killing him. Dracula's castle is... More or destroyed. less immobile. It's yeah. It's been rendered immobile. Like, whatever kept it moving, like this battery thing, or whatever you want to call it, the engine, was completely destroyed or, or damaged in the... the wheels. Uh, yeah, in the last season, and it crashed... Alucard is now the keeper of that of his dad's old castle and, and of the Belmont home, of the records, archives. But anyways, in the third season, Trevor and Sifa find themselves in a town where the clergy are pretty much acting suspicious and weird. And turns out... It's like a cult. Uh, like a couple of weeks before, they were attacked by night creatures and the townspeople like defended themselves and uh, like a special looking night creature uh, trapped inside the cathedral, which happens actually to have a portal in it. Anyways, he brainwashes them. You know, I'm cutting out a bunch of stuff down the line. The the clergy start like the clergymen start putting weird symbols in the town. They're trying to figure out what they are. They also meet this guy called St. Germain. It doesn't explain him too too much. The clergy end up like, activating it and it like sacrifices and burns a bunch of people which opens up like the portal bigger souls go into the special night monster and he like summons portal and the demons start demons i'm pretty much i could call them oh you can call them demons they look like i think that's what they're supposed to be demons or night creatures or the demons come and then trevor and and sifa and saint germain fight them of course it's an epic battle but eventually they it turns out that the portal is open to revive Dracula and his wife, but they stop it. And at the end, as they are killing the special night monster, St. Germain jumps into the portal and it shows like a person in the background. And then, then that's how it pretty much ended. I mean, I'm missing up a bunch of stuff with Alucard, but well, we'll talk. Much- we'll, we'll get into that here in a sec. You just basically gave the gist of season three that was a good synopsis uh grizzly give us uh, what tell me what you think like give me some key points that that like caught your eye on this season uh key point was the fact that um you know alucard was doing some social distancing of his own since 
Belmont and Glover uh, left to go on their own little adventures while he was, uh, you know, pretty much in charge of Dracula's castle and the Belmont Keep. You know, staying away from people, you know, part of one of the episodes, you can kind of see where he was losing his mind. He didn't oh, know. Yeah. yeah, he said he didn't know if it was a and month or a week or a day. It was crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Talking to the dolls. And he, it, it kind of gave it kind of gave that tint like he was wanting to just kill himself. Oh, like he was, uh, yeah. Like he was just done with living. And then he kind of stalked by Asian, who even say they are from Asia. Yeah. Hey, I wouldn't mind an Asian stalker. That was an interesting but very disturbing part of the story. Yeah, that's where Netflix said no fucks given. Before you move uh, on, I think that that scene that, that you were telling where he was going cuckoo, like where it looked like he was, he might have been suicidal, I think in the way he was doing it to himself. That was his penance. That yeah. was like, he was he was taking on the sins of his father watching that place. And I think that, yeah. uh, I don't think he yeah. would have or could have committed suicide. Uh, I just think he was very depressed and lonely. And it showed that. You know, he's talking to mm-hmm. fucking dolls. Alright, uh, Grizz, so Continue with what you were saying earlier. Oh, yeah. So, um, the two Asian who say that they're from uh, Japan, I believe, right? Japan, um, some Asian place, yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of sneak up on Alucard while he's down getting water at the river and uh, say that they're wanting to learn how to kill vampires. Like more because efficiently, they're, right? Yeah, more efficiently. Um and learn all about them because their master was one of the uh, generals for Dracula and had them and, and their people um, enslaved and had to grow up watching her torture other people and so on and so forth. So Alucard, being the good guy that he's wanting to be, decides that he will teach them. And, and he's lonely. Uh, he's so lonely. Yeah, and, very lonely, the uh, depressed lonely. So after it doesn't really say how long they were there, but they weren't getting the training that they wanted in you the notice, time that they were wanting. You notice that they that that whole sequence between like Alucard and those two. I'm gonna just call them the Asians, the two Asians. Um, you'll notice that like time is always distorted. They never say a specific like yeah. this. It, it, like even Alucard, like we said earlier, it, it's been a month. I don't know if it's been a month, a year, or a day. They time is super distorted in that part of the story. So yeah, it's almost yeah. like it's almost like it wants to kind of confuse you. On the other hand, the story with Belmont and Fee, whatever her Sifa. name is Sifa was like you could tell that everything was linear. You know? Yeah, you you could tell day from night, and with them you couldn't tell at all. Yeah, and that's kind of how the season kind of starts for the most part mm-hmm. is sneaking up on him and him, you know, agreeing to to train them. Yeah. Then as the season uh, progresses, he shows them the Belmont Keep, you know, shows them bits and pieces of the castle, of the Dra- uh, Dracula's castle. Yeah, I think he even tells them that certain spots are off limits. Uh, yeah. And that, that's uh, another can... thing. Fuck those two because they kept wanting more and more and more and more. They were they were guests, you know, and he was nice yeah. enough to, to, to bring them in and, and train them. Do it, you know, and the whole time... They are just pulling his chain. And at most, they were maybe teenagers. And uh, you can tell through probably the middle of the season that Alucard was getting kind of frustrated with them, always wanting more, because nothing was good enough that he was doing for them. And that with his already super depressive demeanor, we're just kind of pushing him farther and farther back. Oh, yeah. Come the end of the season where both sister and brother the, w- the weird part we mentioned earlier that like, yeah, Netflix... decide to uh, <laughs> seduce him at the same time then try to kill him do you ever wonder which side alucard was on turns out both he swung mm-hmm. he swings on both sides of the fences he likes yes, the d yes, and the v does. and what 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 was funny about that is they all they kept asking alucard if dracula liked using magical weapons yeah, they're all about the magic weapons. All about Dracula having magical yes. weapons. Oh, and they're so all about once... that moving, that engine that moved the castle, too. Yeah. They're all about, yeah. they wanted to know all about yeah. that shit. But the question that they never asked ended up biting them in the ass. 
Mm-hmm. Which one was Literally. that? Literally. Well, they, they kept asking Alucard what magical weapons Dracula used. And Dracula didn't use magical weapons. That's right, I remember he, that. He himself was a weapon. And so they tied Alucard up in these uh, magical bonds, and they were going to kill him. After they seduced his ass. Like, yeah. he, he thought he was getting laid. He, they got him, in like... In the most weird manner possible. Fucking... Both they were both in the bed like like playing with him and shit and they're all make ting turns making out with him and it was ridiculous. That's like some twin cess shit. So then while he's bound with these magical bonds, as it were, uh, to where he couldn't move, he tells him your greatest flaw was asking the wrong questions. Then he opens a can of whoop ass. <laughs> Dracula didn't like using magical weapons. And in comes his magical flying sword and just tears them to shreds. I think it cuts both, like, cuts it, their, throats. their throats. Yeah, and it's fucking... Mm-hmm. I hate to say this, because during this, during this season, you start liking those two. You're like, oh, come yeah. on, you guys, just be his friend. Don't don't betray him. And you know, like, there's that little hint, like, they're going to fucking turn on you. But, like, the whole time, you're like, come on, just be his friend. You know, I don't want Lucard to be lonely. And then that, that moment happens, you're like, oh, you got what you deserved, you bitches. And then he, he pretty much loses his faith in humanity as a whole. Kind of like his dad. Yeah. Because of those two. Mm-hmm. And he, he, even, he even says, this is exactly what my father would want. And put them both on spikes out in front of the castle. Well, that was also a, uh, a reference to uh, Vlad the Impaler. So, yeah, that, that well, let's, let's talk a little more about the fucking weird sex scene. That was, like, ridiculous. Like, I, it was almost, it was one of those scenes that, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm, I, I really don't care about that stuff, but... That was a bit much. It, yeah, especially for for an anime on Netflix that kid I mean the worst nudity was showing their their backsides. Yeah. But nerd, I but... mean you can like straight see both of them yep. you know under the covers giving him a hand job and they all were, kinds of crap. They were easing for a pleasing, that's for sure. <laughs> right. They wanted to. They wanted to. They wanted to impress Alucard at least until the bitter end. The thing is, is and this is that again. They could have just stayed there, and maybe eventually got their answers. I don't know why they were in such a rush to get those answers. It was bullshit. Like this. This season, I liked it, but it would. It, it felt like filler, and it, I think it really. Mm-hmm. It's know, really yeah. what it was. It was filler. I think because I think it, what's going to is the next resurrection of Dracula. I think you and I talked about that monster. Um, Because Dracula gets resurrected several times, of course, in the video games, obviously. By the way, I'm the only one here that has not played. Uh, Grizzly, have you played him? Yeah, the last time I played it, I was at your house. That's true. (laughs) That's true. So I'm the only one that does not know the backstories. No, the games, at least. Oh, yeah, of the games. Just so you know, and some of the viewers know... Uh, ca- the cast- this Castlevania series is basically going off of the third version of the franchise, and I think that that was a great way to start the fran- you know the anim- or the animated series. While that, while that was happening, uh, Sifa, I think her name was Sifa, Selfie, S- some Trevor Belmont and his uh, his lady friend were on their own adventure in a town like we talked about. That was basically had a had a uh, like a cult, like we like we were saying. Uh, that started with a monster fight, and these guys basically started worshiping the monsters. Like God has forgotten about us. Uh, monster said there was a really good fight at the end. It was a good fight, but I mean, after the season two finale fight where they had that badass Castlevania song play, yeah. Ah, uh, you know, it's hard to live up to that. So I was like, yeah, this is good. It 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 it, it stroked my inner nerd, but at the same time, I was like, oh, it's not as good as the last one. Yeah. You know. And it just goes back to this whole season felt like filler. You know, yeah. it wasn't... La- mm-hmm. the, the first two seasons was like, something's going to happen, it's going to be life or death, and now that's done. And we get this cult, which which is leading up to the resurrection of Dracula, mm-hmm. obviously, which we saw that in the last scene. Isaac goes on his own little adventure, the other, uh, the more uh, spiritual forge master. Forge. Yeah, the, there's a, the spiritual one and the one that was just following blindly. He followed blindly and then kind of like turned on Dracula. You're talking, yeah, the guy that ended up getting uh, uh, in, yeah, enslaved, mostly. Slave. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the forge master stories because those actually, yeah, we got some good stories good. there because one of them has no faith in humanity. He's just like Dracula, you know, and he's mm-hmm. a human. There's a scene where one of the guys actually does him like something nice and he's like, why are you doing this? Is consider it a favor for a favor or something like that. Like, remember me, mm-hmm. 
when it's my time to go to hell. He keeps going back to that moment at least once in the once you know when he was on the boat. Like several my, times. Oh yeah, several times. It was a, he was so surprised that someone would do something nice, knowing who he was. Knowing who he was, yeah. Because he was traveled around with a bunch of night monsters. What you guys he think? Created. What'd you guys His think of that, that final battle with him? Like, where he had to go to that town, and then the town was empty, and then, like, everyone was, like, a slave in this other town. Mm-hmm. Did you guys recognize the big ball monster? Well, <laughs> I know you you wouldn't, uh, monster, but Grizzly, I, I, I'm i pretty sure he yeah. recognizes. They actually used one of the one of the bosses from the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was one of the bot that big ass ball thing where the bodies falling mm-hmm. out of it. That was a mo- that was that I think that was in Symphony of the Night and it was in a few other a few of the other games as well. I didn't know that. It was really badass to see it. I I saw that in my I was like, yay! Yeah, just like the show, there were zombies being controlled by a wiz- by a wizard, more or less. Yeah, I don't believe he raised them from the dead, but they went until they died. Yeah, and he he was controlling them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mind control, and uh, really, what killed him was that ball falling from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> His own device. Also, yeah. right before that, too, um, Isaac talks to like a smart night monster. Oh yeah, he said he was some sort of like he was from the like yeah he was a philosopher from like Greece. I thought maybe they were rolling, rolling along the lines he was like um, Aristotle or. That's or a possibility. Something. I didn't look too far into that, but. I'd, thought it was cool but he though. said that that um like at that time that they were turning to christianity and then he was put to death because he was a blasphemer i guess or whatever but what got him to hell is that he got people killed mm. and lied about people's names so and they showed that, was... that that a night monster could actually be intelligent in that or and remember their past mm-hmm. you know that was kind of cool as well i was kind of expecting um Isaac to kill him around the campfire. Right? Like he was a defect or something? Yeah. Well, because, I mean, he was pretty much telling Isaac, when the time comes, I'm doing my own thing. Man, there ain't nothing anybody can tell me any different. This is my second chance. Think about it. The guys there, I mean, these guys are supposed to, like, follow the Forge Masters, right? But Mm -hmm. the Forge Masters are supposed to follow Dracula. Well, that war ended horribly for Dracula. So these guys are like, fuck that shit, I'm out. At the same time that was going on, Hector, which is the other Forge Master that that was following blindly, Mm -hmm. had gotten captured by Camilla. And Camilla took her back to her stronghold with her sisters, Lenore and Striga. Mm -hmm. They kept him like in a cell. By the way, Striga's a big bitch. Yeah, she looks like a man. She is a. She probably yeah. was in her first life. <laughs> <laughs> Carmelo talks about this plan that she has to take over a big old chunk of land and yeah, and try to turn them into like, uh, like pretty much cattle. Yeah. Camilla was like, I don't know how I'm, or we got to get Hector on board, but yeah, they were torturing him. They didn't. They didn't even wear clothes. I think yeah. there was a schlong shot with him. There was. It was horrifying. Uh, and huh. yeah. Monsters like, oh yeah, I saw every single one of them. I'm I paused that moment. It was sexy. <laughs> and got screenshots and everything. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. Every <laughs> season, uh, there's at least one. Camilla sends in her sister Lenore, mm-hmm. which happens to be like the politician. Guess, diplomat. Diplomat. Same shit, different toilet. She like domesticated pretty much like. Oh, domestic- she domesticated him. Yeah. Oh, look at you with those big words. <laughs> <laughs> he learned that from a stranger. He also learned another D word, dick. <laughs> it's I didn't okay. It's gonna be bag monster night. Ah, oh, we're just giving you shit. It's okay. They send in Lenore to domesticate. So she ends up doing that. They end up having sex. He ends up agreeing to make uh be their forge master so that he can make them an army she literally put a ring on him and made him a slave she liked it and she put a ring on it yep and and he put his dick in her for like maybe two seconds and she she literally like talks to him like he's a dog after that it was just it i feel bad for him but at the same time i don't really care for him because he turned on dracula so my favorite part is like the whole battle with the demons and shit that was my Oh, that whole town. Not like that's my favorite, yeah. The town the story of that town was actually really cool. The only thing I didn't like is that the guy that was in charge of it sent like would tell the boy, Oh, I know the best apples and he would send him to the apple tree in his orchard and Oh yeah, the mayor. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out the judge. 
they fall into spikes when they go by that See, I thought that was going to get a lot worse. I was so yeah. scared Netflix was going to go there. And I'm glad they did. And I was like, well, that's better. Or, or maybe it was like eating them in the in that like that little room that he had. And instead, that's where he kept all their shoes in the end. Yeah, that was fucking weird. He did say that the biggest problem in town was all the kids running around. They didn't listen to him. Mm-hmm. The only kid that you ever saw was that one running that he told where the apples were. You're right. I was the only kid you see in town. Makes me wonder if there's more story because there. they kept dying mysteriously and disappearing. I mean, we've, we've more or less gone through the whole season. What, what's your favorite parts? Uh, Grizz, or Monster, you already said what your favorite yeah, part was. Grizz, what's your favorite part so far? For season three, I would probably have to say when the judge got his. Because I didn't like him from the start. He just had Shady written all over him. Yeah, and then there's a point. There was a point where you kind of liked him. Like, you kind of start liking him, and then you're like, like, oh, he's kind of on our side. And then... You see, he's not like about the time when he's like mm-hmm. telling that kid where to go. You see, he's not, and you. It just felt like you're never gonna see that kid again, or when you do, it's not gonna be good. The, and the, you never really did see him again. You only saw his shoes. Yeah, but see, it, even then, it 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 throws you for a loop of how long were they actually in there? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's hard to tell. My favorite scene is, of course, the I I, I was excited to see Dracula again. That was probably the. Moment I was like, oh, they're gonna resurrect Dracula him. And... Hold, holding his wife. Yeah. yeah. Did you see where they were at? They were in the church in front of where she was burned to death. Yeah. So he was in hell. I mean, that's where they said it went. Is hell? All those demons came out. The, the season was good. It was a good filler season. I'm hoping mm-hmm. they come out with another one because you know Netflix is bad just about it was just short like like the first season was mm-hmm. five five episodes fuck that one. netflix that's another thing netflix is bad about netflix is bad about canceling their shows well, you're fucking up netflix stop that stop that like i told a while it's just uh, i give it another five years and netflix will be obsolete yeah most likely yeah well, if they'll you think end about up closing it. their doors because they're screwing people over well, they're screwing and they're losing money by getting rid of good shows. Disney Plus, here I come! But you know what? There's something that we haven't done in a while. Uh, just so you guys know, we have a phone number that you can call us on. Uh, and if you guys want to give us any ideas for like reviews, you know, if we want, you want us to talk about another Netflix series or a Hulu series or video game series, he knows what I'm doing. And Grizzly's going to give us that number right now. So if you would like to give us a call... Give us some info, or just say hi. The number you can reach us at, 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. Tell them Grizzly sent you. But uh, with that said and done, guys, what do you guys do you guys have anything else you want to so say? So we've got uh, videos coming out in the near future that aren't necessarily podcasts. They're going to be... Um, some different videos, um, and not just gaming videos. We've got other things in mind. Uh, some skits, stuff like that. Kind of, kind of spruce Goodness. things up a little bit. One thing that I would ask is leave a leave a comment on whatever platform you are watching or listening this, and let us know. I'm wanting to do this ahead of time. See, let us know what games you think should be played for this year's games from the crypt in october mm-hmm. let us know what kind of mm-hmm. spooky games this should be played. spooky games yeah i've got a spooky few in mind scary games i've got a jump few scare mind. games mind, i even Good. downloaded a few vr games for baby girl yeah, i know i know and that's gonna be interesting <laughs> Shit. Yeah. well I, th- this is the question do i want my vr broken that's the big question like let her let her use it. monsters. He doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he has a switch. <laughs> you guys want to see us play a certain, or you know, if you want to see a certain game played for Games of the Crypt, uh, hell, if you want to send in video of you playing a game for Games of the Crypt, let us know. Just give us the information that that, that comes with it, like name, what you want to go by, yeah, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah. Um, I know we've got a lot of holiday things that we're wanting to do uh, this year. Might be wanting to bring some things back from the past, and we're thinking about doing some new things as well. So unlike the last few years, we're thinking ahead for once. Yeah, well, we've learned. trying to get a bit more organized instead of, you know, 
shooting ourselves in the foot, both feet, in the well, last minute to try to get stuff we've done. We've learned, and it helps that we have maybe a, uh, another editor helping too. You know, that always yes. Is interesting. Well, with that said and done, we'll see you next time on episode uh, what one twenty two. One twenty two. Holy cow! Uh, thanks for staying with us. Also, thanks for being patient for these episodes. I know it's been a few months since our last season. Got to. We had to have a break. We had to, you know, kind of readjust our heads, and then. This 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 COVID nineteen thing happened. So life got in the way, and then we got put on lockdown, and we were like, "Hey, yeah, well, now we go. all the time at home. Let's do some podcasts. All the time <laughs> in the world. We hope you have a good one. We'll see you next week. Remember to stay nerdy, stay sexy, always."